We all know that solar panels are great for the environment. Uh, we have seen solar panels on roofs, uh, in the field. Problem with solar panels is they are fixed, means they don't move as the sun moves around. Sunrise in the east and sets in the west during this time, taking its course, uh, solar panels are fixed and they're not utilizing all of the energy emitted by solar, uh, by sunlight, by sun itself during the day. So, and that's where solar tracker comes in real handy. What solar tracker does, they actually move the panels, they change their uh, direction or the orientation of the, of the, of the panel such that they are basically tracking the sunlight. So where they feel maximum irradiance, they change the direction and therefore they are uh, utilizing maximum power uh, during the day uh, as they are getting maximum absorption from the sunlight, okay? So what are we going to do today is going to create a solar tracker using voltage comparator, um, basically using OPAM and also an H bridge. Uh, we all know that H bridge is, a, is an electronic circuit that allows for uh, connecting a load and then uh, using the voltage polarity such that to uh, <clears throat> control the motor in both directions, say clockwise and counterclockwise. And the H bridge, you're using two uh, four transistors, which will come in really handy, uh, changing the orientation of the panel. And we're gonna use Tinkercad, so this is all simulation based and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. So let's get started. I'm gonna start up with the breadboard first. And then also I'm gonna pull all the components that I need. It took me roughly like around 10 minutes to make this circuit. So I'm going to quickly go through it and uh, go through a little bit of details. Uh, so what's happening? The two OPAM we have are the two voltage competitors and they are looking at the voltages. As you know, the light dependent resistor or the photoresistor, it has an inverse relationship with the luminosity. So uh, if the light intensity increases, the resistance decreases. So 
Over here, if I increase the light intensity, that means the resistance of this photoresistor is going to decrease, which means there's going to be a more voltage, like a voltage of a higher value, go in there to the uh, non-inverting terminal of the uh, op-amp. So I'm going to pull multimeter here and see if we can measure some of these voltages so we can understand how this work circuit is working. Multimeter, one here, one here. Okay, so let's look at the voltage across the non-inverting terminal and also the voltage across the inverting terminal right here is actually serves as a reference voltage and is dependent upon the value of this potentiometer okay uh, so if i simulate here see notice if you as i change the potentiometer uh, it changes the value of the inverting uh, of the voltage at the inverting uh, inverting terminal of the op amp so i'm going to just going to keep it i believe it's 10k so i'm going to keep uh, keep it somewhere in the middle 5k that's it that's good so what's going to happen here is i would increase the light intensity notice here the resistance of the photocell decreases therefore the voltage will increase and this voltage is feeded into the non-inverting terminal okay i'm going to pull another multimeter and see how much voltage we're getting at the output terminal of the op-amp, okay? So let's see. Uh, assuming here, if I, uh, again, uh, slide the intensity all the way to the very right, that's the bright uh, sunlight right there. That means uh, I'm getting 8.56 at the non-inverting terminal and 4.33 uh, at the uh, inverting terminal. So that means this voltage is higher and therefore I'm getting 6.37 over here okay and also notice uh, my uh, motor is actually moving in the clockwise direction okay now let's see what's gonna happen if I slide the light intensity all the way to the very right over here that means um, we have bright sunlight Think of like noon time, the sun is right on top of your head, on top of the panel, therefore it just needs to stay still, it doesn't need to move because it's getting maximum you know, light intensity right now. And therefore the uh, motor is not moving at this point, okay? So as you can see, when this light intensity is high, it's moving in the clockwise direction. And when this light intensity is high, it's moving in a, a counterclockwise direction. If both light intensity are set to zero, uh, that means it's dark, it's not moving, it's just staying still. And if both light intensity are high, it also doesn't move because that means it's a noon time, it has good light intensity. So, uh, depending upon the voltage competitor, uh, so the voltage competitor basically takes input uh, at pin number two and pin number three, compares the voltage, and whichever is the higher voltage displays it at the output of the op-amp. We feed that output voltage, which right now it's 8.99. It's feed it into the base of these two transistors right here. And that would allow the currents to flow through the motor. And in this configuration, the uh, motor moves in the clockwise direction, okay? Uh, similarly, the right-hand side of the circuit is a mirror image of the left-hand side of the circuit. So again, over here, uh, we have at pin number two, which is the inverting terminal. Again, this is the reference voltage set by this potentiometer, which is equals to 4.33. And uh, see if I can pull another multimeter here, and then positive here, uh, negative here, and then I do the simulation. So it looks like I have a very tiny voltage right now. So the voltage at the inverting terminal of the op-amp is greater and therefore the output voltage is going to be zero as you can see as I make this connection and do the simulation and you see that right once I increase the light intensity that means this voltage increases now this voltage is greater 
then this reference voltage, which is 4.33, which would mean I would have greater potential here, um, 6.37, and that 6.37 is uh, basically feeded into the base of these two transistors, allowing the current, and therefore the voltage polarity is such now, uh, which is connected to the load, in this case it's motor, it's actually rotating in the counterclockwise direction. So it's actually working both ways. It's a very simple, classic application of a voltage competitor in edge bridge uh, uh, electronic circuit to make a solar tracker. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. If you have any question, please uh, leave your question in the comment section and I'll be responding to it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.